Hi, hello. This is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about September patch Tuesday, Windows 10, Windows 11 patches. What are the fixes? What are the improvements? What are the known issues? And what are the zero day vulnerabilities with this patch Tuesday of September 2023? If you are watching this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing it if you have not yet and click on the bell button also to get the notification about the new videos so we will cover all the details along with sscm and intune way of deploying patches automatically and we will also cover how to download patches manually for offline installation as well as we will cover what is auto patch and how to use auto patch to automatically install and manage the patching mechanism for your organization so don't skip the video let's go ahead and check this out so let's talk about september 2023 patch tuesday this is a quick review of zero day vulnerabilities of september patch tuesday windows 10 11 updates fixes non-issues improvements new features introduced with september 2023 patch tuesday there will be two patches for windows 11 21 h2 and 22 h2 and there will be one particular patch for windows 10 so we will see all those details and then we will look into automatic way of deploying the patches on monthly basis using device management tools such as sscm and intune and we will also discuss about manual options to download patches and then automation such as auto patch so let's go into little bit more details and check zero day vulnerabilities for september 2023 patches so zero day vulnerabilities two zero day vulnerabilities are there those are published by microsoft during the september 2023 patch tuesday those are basically related to microsoft word and microsoft streaming services as you can see over here these two vulnerabilities are exploited exploitation detected and one is publicly disclosed that is related to microsoft word and streaming service proxy related vulnerability is not publicly disclosed microsoft word related vulnerability is 2023 36761 the streaming service proxy related vulnerability is sve 2023 36802 word information disclosure vulnerability that is exploiting this vulnerability could allow the disclosure of ntlm hashes so this is the vulnerability details that microsoft provided and what about streaming services proxy elevation of privilege vulnerability that is again vulnerability could gain system privileges so these are very important vulnerabilities apart from that there are other vulnerabilities also i will link the list of vulnerabilities into the description of the video do check that out the details of features improvements associated with windows 10 windows 11 september patches there's no significant updates i could see for windows 11 over here one of the update or improvement is windows location related improvement that is going to help with accurate use and traffic information along with climate information and the other one is daylight saving time for israel these are the two improvements which i could see in windows or microsoft documentation and what are the improvements for windows 10 there's a windows backup application released with september 2023 patch tuesday that is very interesting and then there's a new api for d3 d12 independent devices you can see the details over here and for windows 10 also location improvements are there this is going to help with climate news traffic informations another important significant release or update with windows 10 september patch is notification badges for microsoft accounts within start menu this is really useful and interesting 
you would be able to see new notification badges for Microsoft accounts within start menu on Windows 10 devices. These are the significant or documented improvements for Windows 10 and Windows 11 as part of September Patch Tuesday. So let's look into fixes which are coming with September patches. Windows 11 fixes. The group policy service related fixes there. September patches address an issue that affects layered windows. So if you had this layered window issue explained over here, that has got fixed with September 2023 patches. There was an issue with high CPU usage and this got fixed with September patch Tuesday. Patch Tuesday patches. Disk partition related issues also got fixed with September patches. Windows update for business related error 00006D also got fixed with September patches. Now let's look into Windows 10 fixes with September patches. Group policy related fixes available for Windows 10 also and layered window issue is also over here for Windows 10. This partition related issue is also there and then remote desktop sessions related issue also got fixed with Windows 10 September patches. RSOP issue is applicable for Windows 10 as well. Click one related issue is there for Windows 10 and that got fixed with September patches. Windows update for business related error also fixed with September patches. Let's look at the known issues of Windows 11 and Windows 10 September patches. This is not the known issues with September patches, but this issue was already there and highlighted in the previous patch release. As you can see, unsupported processes. There are some blog posts about this in our SDMD community. So you can refer to those to get more details. And this is an ongoing issue with third party UI customization applications. And this has been highlighted previously also these issues are resolved resolved externally means this should be fixed by the vendor Microsoft is not responsible for fixing this issue that is what resolved externally means these two issues for Windows 10 and Windows 11 are same. Now let's look into SSCM September 2023 patch Tuesday activities. If you are not familiar with SSCM patching process, I would recommend to click on the I button to get the end to end video of SSCM patching process. Just to highlight, you need to go into software updates node under software library in SSCM console and check out the deployment packages and create a deployment package or software update group with the search criteria or you can go with separate KB article search option otherwise you can use ADR automatic deployment rules to deploy the patches to SSCM managed clients all those details are available in this video please refer to that video to get more details then Intune there are different ways to manage Intune patching Intune uses windows update for business for patching scenarios and you don't need to create a separate policy in intune for each month however if you want to expedite some of the patches patch installations because of zero day vulnerabilities then you need to use special policy as you can see in the screenshot i will link the video with more details in the i button if you click on i button you will get that details in youtube let's look in to manual method to download the patches you need to open this catalog.update.microsoft.com website now let's look at the build versions of windows 10 and 11 after september patch updates windows 11 22 h2 build version would be 22.621.22.83 and windows 11 21 h2 build version would be 22.000.24.16 and the KB articles related to Windows 11 22H2 is KB 5030219 and KB article related to Windows 11 21H2 is KB 5030217 and what are the build numbers for Windows 10 version Windows 10 22H2 version build number is 19045344 
8 and the KB article associated with that is KB503211 and for 21H2 Windows 10 version build number is 19044-3448 and the KB article is KB5030211 we look into and search with 2023-09 over here and click on search button and that will provide you the option to download the patches manually for an offline scenario now let's look into next level of automation what you can do with patching if you are struggling with monthly patching activities and you want to automate it windows auto patch is the best option to do that which is the service provided by microsoft so for this you need to be enrolled to intune the device should be managed by intune and then you will get patches for enterprise applications such as microsoft edge microsoft teams microsoft 365 windows etc and this is the process of windows auto patch i have explained this also in a different video you can refer to that video from the i button over here in youtube now that you have seen all the details about zero day vulnerabilities of September 2023 patch Tuesday Windows 10 Windows 11 patches for September non issues improvements fixes all these details we have covered in this video hope this video was useful thank you all for watching see you around